a lot of people still have a lot to say about Cat Williams' interview over on Club Shay Shay. It's been two weeks, and people are still talking about it, both good and bad. Comedians like D.O. Hughley have not said anything, but you've had people like Faison Love who love to hate, and they say stuff like this. It comes to comedians, right? Who would you say is the most overrated comedian of all time? Cat Williams. Definitely overrated. But as a comedian, though, you feel like he overrated? Oh, yeah. Oh, way overrated. Way. It's all mouth and no product. Where's the successful movies? Where's the successful TV show? He did the stand-up, okay. He did 19 of those. You know? So, where's he great at? But then other people have commented on the situation, like my man Mike Epps. All right, I did get a little jealous, man. Cat broke the internet and didn't say my name, good or bad. I need to press too. <laughs> say something about me in there, man. Say something bad about me. Okay, I got a special coming out. I need to press. Man, we did a movie together, damn. That's right. Mike Epps knows the value of what this does for comedy. And shout out to my man, MREC TV, because he broke this footage. Shout out to his YouTube channel and what the brother's doing. He actually found some footage that shows Dave Chappelle commenting on the issue. And of course, D-Ray Davis was there too, and they were having a little bit of an argument, but let's press play and check it out. I don't know. I don't know where the cat is, but that is waiting for all of us. And Brett TV. Cat is gonna kill us all. <laughs> oh my God! I, I love everybody, but I love Cat Williams more than love a lot of people, and that is wild. And Brett. TV. All right, all right. I'm at war with the Illuminati too. But what part of the war is Ethering Cedric the Entertainer? <laughs> I'm going to the Illuminati. I'm going to stop with Cedric the Entertainer. Oh my God. And Rep TV. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to have to go with Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah, that's right. Dion's got the right idea. This 
out of this face shit you talking about. Now again, this isn't the only person to talk about this in comedy. Remember Gary Owen? Yeah, Gary Owen, the comedian. Well, Gary Owen also was at the improv and he talked about Cat Owens in the interview at Club Shay Shay. Yeah, the cat thing was interesting this week because it was funny, like I was watching it live when it happened because I remember I was, I was making lunch and I, I like that podcast as it is. So I saw Cat was on there. So I know Cat was going to drop some one liners. I didn't know he was going to go nuclear. <laughs> Like, it wasn't even like, man, Shannon was just stuck. He said, Cat, how's it going? Fuck Ricky. Fuck Cedric. Fuck Steve. I was like, God damn. This motherfucker hasn't said hello. Now, let's look at Gary Owens' views typically. All right? Let's see. This last video has about 38,000 views. The other video, 16,000 views. I got lost in Shaq's house, 8,900 views. But then that video that we just saw, Cat Williams has Shannon Sharp stuck, 984,000 views. All right, so if he's not talking about somebody huge, and even though, like I said, Gary Owen does get views on his YouTube channel, that just goes to show the power of Cat Williams. But remember Corey Holcomb also said how necessary Cat Williams was. Cat Williams is necessary. Cat Williams is necessary. This motherfucker done shook up the whole shit. I know this shit need to be torn apart and rebuilt. I'm talking about the comedy, the comedy game, the shit that yeah, people don't game. know. Yeah. yeah, yeah but he re he shook this motherfucker up. He necessary. And I know it's some people gonna be mad at me for saying that. You see, let me explain what I'm talking about. The great comedians like Cat Williams, Corey Holcomb, and Dave Chappelle. All of them are unique. Wanna know why? They're old school comics. They don't care about being canceled and they want to bring that edge back to comedy. People that have capitulated uh, like Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, Cedric the Entertainer. That's not the kind of co comedy we want, right? We're gonna be honest. A lot of us from the old school, we like the controversial stuff. We want somebody to speak their mind and be authentic. Why do you think most of us love to hear what Corey Holcomb is going to say? Like, we people stay up all night, even me. I was up till like 8 in the morning waiting for the 5150 show. Because we know that Corey Holcomb, he doesn't give a fuck, right? We know that. He don't care. He don't care about getting canceled. He going to talk about the industry people back doors. He going to call somebody a fuck. He He's going to say anything. And the other brother, Craig, is going to be on there cooking. They're going to be talking about some uncomfortable things that people today don't talk about because they're scared. So Dave Chappelle saying that this is not good for comedy. I just don't understand how it's not good for comedy. It's great for comedy, especially people like Dave Chappelle and Corey Holcomb and Cat Williams who want to just keep it real. I don't understand how it's not good for comedy. It's great for comedy. You know what I'm saying? People that... Like people want that style of comedy, that real stuff. People don't want the watered down stuff. And people like Dave Chappelle, that's why we like him. Remember when Dave Chappelle went to went to battle against the LGBTQ in, in, in the Netflix specials and they were protesting? We love that. We love that attitude. Like, yo, I'm a, I, I'm an artist. This is what I want. Now again, Dave Chappelle had a comedy special out, I guess on the same day. I'm not gonna say this is a little bit of jealousy. I don't know if it's jealousy or not. I can't say that Dave Chappelle is hating on him. Again, he might think that it's bad for comedy in the way that people are being exposed. Again, he made those jokes about Cedric Entertainer. He's fat and old. Like, why even talk about him? These guys are irrelevant, right? They're not even real comics. Steve Harvey, those ain't even real comics anyway. Ricky Smiley, you know, you ain't even talking about like, what was the point of exposing them? Cause they're not real, they're not real comics like me and you and D-Ray and Red and Corey Holcomb and people like that, right? TK Kirkland, what's the whole point of that? But I get what he's saying there, but everybody is interested in stand up, especially guys who wanna be a little bit more real, wanna be a little bit more graphic. Again, I don't think that it's hating from that point of view, from that opinion. I just believe that, you know, hey, it need to happen. And again, look at all the, the benefits of it. Everybody is talking about comedy again, real comedy, 
organic roots comedy. Not that who's a plant type comedy, the real stuff that we have come to love. This is why we love Dave Chappelle. This is why we love Cat Williams. It's the same reason why we love Corey Holcomb. Because you know they're going to say something that they just don't give a damn. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you subscribe to the bell. We're out. Thank you.